<laughs> so Marcus Rogers made a video talking about it and probably a whole bunch of other people as well. And it is about Lecrae visiting. Yo, look, Kyle Manny stepped in the building. Oh, right, oh, on time. right on time. Right on time. Kyle. Just had, give, send him the link. For, um, Lecrae <laughs> went to a Diddy party. Okay. Uh, what are you saying? Lecrae went to a Diddy party. Oh, okay. Diddy. Puff Daddy, Sheesh. P Diddy, take that, take that. my accent. Uh, it almost so like, here, here is it almost sound like what? It almost sound like he went to a different type of party. Take okay. that, take that. When you said Diddy, right? Oh, mean, oh, I got it now. Wow, <laughs> did he? Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> so here is the exact moment. Uh -oh. Um. The video is this is Satan's actual strategy for the music industry. Which, by the way, if you didn't know, Craig got a podcast. Um, he'd be talking, you know, insider stuff. So it's interesting. Mm -hmm. So oh. this is the the spot, and um, we'll listen to it and then see what you guys think. I wasn't even going to say nothing about this, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Why you said it? Um, mm -hmm. I've been to a couple Diddy parties. Mm -mm -mm. Now I'm risking a lot by saying this because I know. All right, one thing right away, and I just peeped this now. I didn't really saw it when I was watching the video, but he said a couple, right? So more than right. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then to answer, yeah, and, and to answer your question, um, you said why he was mentioning it. So before this, there's like a little, um, video of somebody that's talking about Diddy and his parties, mm -hmm. um. And then oh, now okay. he's talking about it here. So he's kind of okay. like reacting. So it's so he's reacting to that video, and then we're reacting to his video. So right. react, reaction oh, inception. Cool. Yeah. Reaction. Reaction. Um, reaction. All right, here we go. As soon as I say that, all, all the assumptions are gonna come in and all the and if I don't say evil things were taking place, then I'm covering for them. And if I do say evil things were taking place, then I'm one of them ones like, yeah, Lecrae, expose it, expose it. You know what I'm saying? And I've been to lots of parties. I've been to Jamie Foxx, I've been with Snoop, T I, like I've been name to lots dropping. of places. Look at them. A Snoop party. You know they were look, 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 but, look at them name dropping. Right. Now now, those parties, like when you mention the name, doesn't really like do anything, right? Yeah, he's name dropping. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't be. You're not like, oh my gosh, you went to a Snoop party, or oh my gosh, you went to Jamie Foxx. It's Snoop only party. because same thing happening. No, but but it, the big deal is from everybody is because it's Diddy, right? And everything that's nah. going on and the rumors. You don't think so? I'm just saying. What, so what you think happening at a Snoop party? Oh no, I don't know, but we don't have that same they uh, that same reaction as we do, you know, when when he says, "Oh, I went to Diddy's party." That's what mm -hmm. I'm saying. Does that make sense? No, I hear what you're saying, Be only because yeah. of recent events. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Um, here's what I'll say. He took a deep breath. Yeah, he did. There are people who will test you. There are people who will see. Wait, what How do you mean? Your limits are right. What they hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, what happened? What happened? What, what did they test them on at a Diddy party? <laughs> yeah? Okay, so the reason why you don't have that type of reaction to a Jamie Foxx uh party is because the difference is that he has Kentucky Fried Chicken at his parties. He said that in one of the podcasts. Diddy parties. It's not just what happens at Snoop parties. It's a little more than that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little, yeah, a little yeah. more than that. I do the Sodom and Gomorrah party. Yeah, that's that. That's why people don't have the same reaction. You know what I mean? So well, when your man said, like, given that context, this. given that context, like when your man says he's been tested. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Go back elaborate, to the Elaborate, brother. Elaborate. Go back, the, go back to the Cray picture. Go Great back picture. to the, the, the stage. The still look. He looked like he got tested. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> come on! Yo. Look yo. yo, he looked like Diddy came up behind him. Yo. Nah, yeah. a, little, hey, a, little, a little, a little bit be, uh, from behind her. Come on. Wow. Yeah. Hey, all right. Let's yeah, get yeah, to with this video. Now. Yeah, yeah you're wild right now. He yo, said, chill. Let's lay some. He got tested. Then something. they'll take two. I. Don't know. I I, in my personal experience, never saw anything where someone was like, you can't move any further unless you do X, Y, or Z. 
But what I did see was if you do do X, Y, or Z, well, keep coming because you're, you know, Pause. and that's how we all are. It's Psalm 1, right? Mm -hmm. um, he says, blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, who does not stand in the way of sinners, who does not sit in the seat of mockers. You, mm -hmm. you start walking, they're going to walk with you, and now you find yourself standing. They like, oh, you stand? Well, if you stand, come sit. Now, you next thing you know, you're sitting. And and so, it was never a situation where I, love the I, I felt forced to sit. Hey, it was a situations where I was asked, do, do you stand? Do you stand? And I'm like, I don't stand. Oh, okay, cool. And then I was left alone. It's like, oh, he's not, he's not about that life. He's not with it. I'm leaving him alone. Um, and, and this is what I'll say. And I won't say whose party I was at or what party, but this is a crazy situation, right? Um, I was at one of these parties, and yeah, for me, dope. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest. It's Yo, and what sneakers are those? Uh, those better lighting though. Jordan ones. They look like those look like the mellows. Okay. Is a mix of pose. work because this is oftentimes where you go to connect with people where you go to meet people and i have met people here and i have built bonds and they have said i have met actors and celebrities who said man thank you for being here i needed your presence here you're the reason why i know god is walking with me and we've had conversations since where they're like man thank you so much i appreciate you because how you gonna be a light if you never in the dark now I'm, now if you cannot handle being in the dark stay up out of certain places right don't play tug of war by yourself. I never went to these events by myself. I was always with people who were walking in the light and we always had a mission. Mm -hmm. It was never just to go in there and wild out and, and be and be stupid. But the other side of the coin is, yes, if I'm, I'm a human, so I'm frail, I'm gonna be honest with you. There was moments for me of like, oh my gosh, I'm here, I'm part of the crew, like, look at me. Yes, I struggle with acceptance and wanting to be associated with greatness. And I got caught up in some of that nonsense internally. Right. Um, but you would have never known that. What I will say is that one particular party, um, lots of big names. Um, there was an artist there who said, hey, Lecrae, around 1 a.m., make sure you're not here. Hmm. And I was like, what? You just don't want to be here at one in the morning. <laughs> And I was like, <laughs> now my pride kicked in. Like, yo, you don't know me. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can handle myself. Like, I'm not some little church boy who ain't never seen nothing. Like, I'm good. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what you talking about? Well, <laughs> it's probably 12, 30. I'm downstairs. Um, I go downstairs to the studio. I come up out the studio. And I'm headed back upstairs to like the main area where everyone's kind of congregating and hanging out. And uh, the music changed. It was like really hard and heavy at first. And then, you know, like jam and dancing music. And it was a little softer, you no. know, it was a little more sensual when I came out the studio and started going upstairs. Uh, and on my way upstairs, uh, there's like, like wild, this wild. couch. <laughs> um, I won't say how the couch is designed because then that may give away whose party and whose house this was. There was a couch and on the couch, I saw a couple of guys really going at it hard and heavy. What? And um, man, I him? was like, oh. Right, he watched? You know, I, I, he watched, bro? Wait, 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 wait. He, <laughs> he said, wait, wait, wait. Watched. Mr. 116 was like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Bro, he watched. Bro, Wait, he didn't man. say he. I need watched. to rewind this real quick. Bro, he did. Yeah. He said it was going bro. hard and heavy. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. said that. He, he said it was going hard. Oh, he, he said he was like, "Whoa, oh, man, y'all got to stop." Bro. He said what? Yo. What did he say? He said Hold what on. he saw. Hold on. All right, and then he, he's like, wait, 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 watch. Saying like, I can handle myself. Like, I'm oh, not some back? little church boy who ain't never seen. Well, it's probably twelve. <laughs> 30. I'm downstairs. So they started um, before one. I go downstairs yeah, to the studio. I go <laughs> early. out the studio. And I'm headed back upstairs to like the main area where everyone's kind of congregating and hanging out. And 
uh, the music changed. It was like really hard and heavy at first. And then, you know, like jamming, dancing music. It was a little softer. You know, it was a little more sensual when I came out the studio, started going upstairs. And on my way upstairs, there's like this couch. Um, I won't say how the couch is designed because then that may give away <laughs> whose party and whose house this was. There was a couch. And on the couch, I saw a couple of guys really going at it hard nah, and heavy. Bro. And um, man, and I was like, oh, oh. you know, I, I, you know, my brain, I'm thinking, well, you oh. know, the celebrity party, people <laughs> do what they do. As I started moving up, stairs i passed them up and i noticed that it wasn't just those two guys it was more and more people just going at it oh no nah. i was like okay it's time for me to roll i'm gonna grab my stuff and i'm gonna get up out of here i did not know that's how this went down so was that <laughs> shocking absolutely was i forced or coerced into anything i was not um but but they asked me why they felt that comfortable i don't know maybe the invite list they was like yeah all these people i i don't know I, I'm I'm shocked that it went down. But I've been to another situation, another person's party, celebrity party, and you know, a celebrity tapped me on my shoulder and I was hanging out with them and it was like, yo, nephew, uh, you might want to go in some like Snoop other yeah. party because this cabana, <laughs> we about to close it up. And they closed up the cabana, and there was about three or four big name artists in there. And a whole bunch of ladies start walking in that cabana, and a security guard stood in front of the door. Hey, oh, I hear they didn't coerce me. The they didn't ask me to come Diddy, in, and everybody said, "You Snoop, probably bro. should not be in this cabana. You probably just want to go out back out there with the cocktails and the hanging out and the hobnobbing." And um, why he say cocktails? Shout out to my guy Brandon T. No, Jackson, no. man. Brandon T. Jackson, um, you know. It, I, I don't know what he's up to these days, but at this particular party, Brandon T came up to me and he said, yo, man, like Satan will steal your soul in this industry, bro. And he mm. was really like, I loved the fact that he felt like, he's like, I love your soul and your spirit and I want you to thrive, Cray. I don't want you to get devoured out here. And I just appreciated that because for him, mm. he was like, he has seen some detriments and some of the dark mm -hmm. side of things. And he was like, yo, I want you to be taken care of. So yeah, I said, I have to say like, I never felt like it was some secret occult or secret like thing. I felt like there were areas at certain places that were like, hey, um, this might, I mean, this could be the cocaine room. You know, I don't know. This could be the boom boom room. I don't know. But <laughs> I never ventured into those places. You know, that wasn't my thing. And when I felt like something was moving to a level past where my witness or my like conscience would be messed with, I'm out of there. It's not for me. Um, but I somebody got to be in these places and spaces, right? Like somebody got to be there, you know, to be, you know, in these environments. Now, I'm not saying somebody got to be at the strip club or don't, don't, don't misconstrue, misconstrue my words. What I'm saying is someone has to be in environments where people congregate and you can get to know them and you can build relationships. You know what I'm saying? These were not like, it, it's not just wild and people hanging from the ceilings everywhere. It's really just people hanging around by the pool, talking, having conversations. Some people dancing, some people walking, you know, oh, what's up, Jimmy Iveen? What's up, Madonna, Chris Brown? How y'all doing? Oh, okay. You know, you talking, you, you, you have a whole conversation. You can share your whole testimony standing next to somebody by Jamie Foxx's pool. You know what I'm saying? So again, it wasn't one of those situations where it was crazy. And I've been to tons of these industry events, like tons of them. So it's what do you want to get yourself into? You know, what do you if you want to get in trouble, you can. But I don't feel like my career. And yes, sure. <laughs> I probably could have found some way to finesse it for my career if I really was trying. Um, but it, it's like, is that what you really want? Do you want to get yourself intertwined with the deeds of darkness and Satan? And now you got to un unwind yourself from all of that is that really what you desire or do you want to be straight and narrow and go to bed at night with a clear conscience and wake up in the morning and see that god is doing god is infinitely more powerful and i'd rather trust in him than all of that nonsense i love these. how do you unsee you what he saw on the couch though? you know what I mean? that was wild that's wild. i know that was diddy party he ain't even got to say 
<laughs> that was definitely Diddy party, yo. When he said nephew, we knew we know that, that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. man, wow, that was a lot, bro. So, I, so let me ask you guys this. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, nah, I was gonna say I hope we didn't go back to that party after. Like you know, what I'm saying like when Diddy. Threw so, so you saying if Diddy? All right. So this ties into my question. If Diddy invites you to go to one of his parties, nah, bro. And you know, you see all of this stuff, right? That he was just talking about craziness. Um, after 1 a.m. or whatever, 12, whenever they started. Mm. And then a couple months down the line, you get a, um email from his assistant. He's like, yo, Diddy, uh, it's going to have another party. You want to come through? Nah, bro. You going? No. No, bro. How about you switch? I'm like T.D. Jakes. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> Chill. I'm not going, yo. Look, I didn't know said, what was T.D. Jakes doing? Come on. I mean, I don't know. No, nah, he was praying for people. What happened? Why you ask Switch? Why you yo keep on going? Yeah, what was what the happened? question again? I he said, "Would you? He just said, would you go would you back? back? You got invited? Would you go?" Yes, sir. Oh, and then I had seen like yeah after that you whole situation. Saw, after nah, you seen I'm not it. going back, bro. I'm not. Would oh, you go wait. to anybody else's Who was party saying, that's yeah, famous? Man. Anybody? After I don't know because somebody else's party might be different. Like it might be just be okay. Normal. Nah, nah, if I seen some wow, like yo, I'm ahead at 12 30, and <laughs> just, like you said, they was going at it. I'm like, nah, oh, that's this is weird. Crazy. Nah. No. Jimmy. Jimmy thinking about bro, it. Bro, Jimmy don't even go outside, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. I'm with Hyman. I'm in bed by 9 30, <laughs> dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm, <laughs> I agree with LNF. He's like, if I gotta leave at, at the party at 1 a.m., I ain't going. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm in the house, dog. I'm good. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need features oh, from nobody. Oh, enough. He's wilding right now. Yeah, he is. I, <laughs> nah, nah. He is nah. wilding <laughs> right now. He's like, he he said, why Jake's texting mentors? I miss you at 2 a.m. What? What is he talking about? TDJ. Is there something that we... we... And I miss. Hey. I knew about I the work. L- LNF, no, fire, fire, fire up the camera, man, and hop on. Tell us about this, man. Talk to us. Okay. I ain't anyway, next, question. next question. Anyway, we focus on um uh, on Lecrae and, and so what, what's the, the real question? Are we trying to say like should he be at these events or should he not be at these events? Right. I, think mm, he's, I guess um, so. I, I think for him it was more like exposing that because he did, even though he didn't said he didn't want to, but. He kind of exposed, like, yo, stuff happens in these events. But he only exposed it. Like the wickedness going... happens, you know what I mean? Everywhere. It happens at, uh, 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 you know, your, your TTs, your cousins' parties. Yo, but the thing is, you know he yeah, never, exactly. he's, but the thing is, he's only exposing it because that's the topic of the moment. Because who knows when, when he went to these parties? He ain't ever mentioned it before, though. Right. 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 So is he really exposing it? No, I don't see it. You, no, I don't. Not really. He's not exposing He's mm. like it ain't like he's breaking ground by exposing. Right. He's only doing right. what everybody else is doing, and confirming what everybody else thinks, right? Because yeah, he, yeah. he saw some things that happened at these parties, and and he saw it too. You know? Yeah, and I, but, I think, I think, I think, I think, like, like, like what we was talking about, like, yes, it's extreme. Like when you think of Diddy parties, but like Snoop parties, like, so what? So you got girls on leashes with no tops on and everything else, like yeah. that's okay. Yeah. Like, I mean, if we're going to stand for sexual purity, then we need to stand for sexual purity. You know what I mean? All across the board. You know what I mean? Like, but he we, we, we kind of, we go ahead. He, 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 he said it was, that was just as bad. I mean, he didn't say it was just as bad, but he pointed out the fact that he didn't need to be there either when that went down. Right. So yeah. I don't think he held it. The only, my only pushback to what he said was like, um, like it wasn't this, like, oh, if you, down with this then you can't mm-hmm. like like kind of like but you ought to understand like if you chill let's say there's a group of people that do drugs right and mm-hmm. you chill with people that do that do the same drugs right and there's a group mm-hmm. of other people that don't do those same drugs obviously those people are going to click more and those people are probably going to give more opportunities right. to the individuals sure. that are doing drugs with them you know what i mean right so yeah. if somebody's down with like orgies and all this craziness you know granted they may not have like 
it may not be like yo look you know lecrae you have to do this in order to get to the next level in your career but i'm sure those things do have benefits because now they feel comfortable like oh i know you know he, he he's down or she's down with whatever i'm doing like you know what i mean so if they down with the same wickedness it's not i don't think it's so much like like he how he how he explained it yeah it makes a valid point but i think you know if you if you let's say you're doing coke and then you have somebody else who's doing coke then yeah you might be like yo we're gonna do a song or i'm gonna put you in my next mm -hmm. movie or whatever you know what i mean because yeah, yeah. it's a little secretive thing that only me and you know about you know what i'm saying so so I think he has to understand that you know what i mean not not you know because when he was talking about the whole it wasn't like this secret occult thing you know what i mean it's you don't think he he don't you don't think he understands that yeah, he I think, probably does, but I think when he said it, it was like, oh, I don't, you know, I don't think. Oh, the way he made it, the way yeah. he made it. Like, okay. yeah, that does help your career because it's like, it's a secretive thing that mm -hmm. only you and that person know about and, you know what I mean? They're cool with that, you know what I mean? And sometimes, I, right, or well, a lot of times, it's minors, right, and other things uh -huh. that. <laughs> yeah, people yeah, are yeah. secretive about. And then there's other dudes like, yeah, I mess with young chicks too. Yeah, and then, yeah. You know what I mean? So that's when. Uh, all of it is wild. It is wild. Yeah. So, and not, well, listening to how you explain it, Switch, it made me think that when he was early in the party, when they approached him on whatever it was that they approached him, whether it be drugs or whatever that was about to lead up to what he saw, that should have been his warning that this ain't his type of party. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what they asked him. They could have asked him drugs, but if it had anything to do with what led up to at the end, bro, he shouldn't even have to wait to 1 or 12 30. That he should have been like, yo, I don't maybe I don't need to be around here because it's about to go down or something like that. But maybe maybe he just ain't think it was gonna be that crazy. Like, like that why yeah, yeah. But I'm saying like <laughs> like if a dude come up to you, well yeah. He, you know what I'm saying? You already yeah. know, like, yo, at yeah, least that bro. person had the respect enough to be like, yo, bro, at one, like, it's time for you to, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, right. But you like, know what's nah, wild? Chill, bro. <laughs> so, yo, what, what, you know, was crazy? What, why were they so comfortable in inviting him and then feeling like uh, he ain't gonna say nothing? Maybe it was just somebody who 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 attended. You know what I'm saying? He was like, "Yo, son, like you here? Like, hey, I don't think you should be. I don't. Th I don't think you should be here by by you one o'clock, dog. Because that's no, that's when the festivities start." I'm you saying you mean? think he just stumbled upon a Diddy party without an invite? Nah, he, he he definitely was invited. I agree with Kyle. I think he was there to network. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, but like, yes. like, like for example, like, like, listen, listen, like, I I invite y'all to a party. And somebody tell you the strippers coming at one o'clock. Y'all waiting till 1230, 1245 to, to bounce? Like, what are y'all waiting for? Y'all waiting to see the strippers arrive? Yeah, the strippers are gonna you know what I mean? What's going, what's going on? You know what I mean? nah, like, but, all right, I'm a dip. Uh, I'm a dip. You know what I mean? Like, mm, but know, it did he made it seem like they didn't tell him what was gonna happen. They just told yeah, him, bro, that's enough. These are gonna get crazy, right? Yeah. He wanted to see how crazy it got. Though. Though. People been knowing about about you know what I mean. Bro, like, like, nah, I can hang. Parties, I'm chilling. Yeah, bro. right, right. Yeah, That's man. what I'm saying. He wanted to see how he really wanted to see what what crazy. Like maybe. in his mind, uh, maybe he was naive to the point where he thought it was just gonna be wilding out and some drugs and everybody gonna go crazy. He probably didn't think it was gonna this. get to that level. Right, but, right, right. <laughs> But right, at the same he, he time, said, like he was trying to prove something. Like he said, I ain't no church boy or whatever bro. he said, you know. But he had he had mentioned that on the um what was that other podcast that he was with? The dude, um which one? I forgot the dude's name. The one that was like, yo, make it clap on booty strippers or whatever, or like, Jesus ain't making we were talking in the rain, but not on whatever, whatever it was. Oh yeah, man with the glasses. What's his name? What's I his forgot name? his name. I forgot the dude's oh, name. He said Jesus was a stripper. He's the original stripper. That's that dude. Oh, the dude. um. Anyway, so yeah. what's his name? Tim Ross. Tim Ross, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he was on his podcast and he was mentioning how he wanted to be like cool with the, and he mentioned it now on the podcast mm -hmm. too, like how he wanted to be down and around 
yeah, like industry. celebrities and and you know mm -hmm. kind of fit in with the crowd so mm -hmm. i mean i i think his story matches up i don't think like lecrae is on some like wow <laughs> no i don't think no nah, i don't like think that. so i don't think like, so either. you know what i yeah. mean i just I think, think that yeah you know would you he was question though probably... would you question him if he if he goes back well hell yeah if he goes back now after all of this bro then yeah I'm, okay. All, all bets like, bro, yo, yeah. go to Flavor Fest, bro. Go to, um, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. This mad Christian events for you to go to, bro. Yeah. Pop out, bro. Nah, bro. I don't yeah. think that's what he's trying to do, though. I really think he outside trying to network, or at least that's what he was doing at that time. Yeah, you know bro. I mean? He's out of he's out of touch if he don't know what happens at a Diddy party, yo. Right. Yeah. yeah look at LNF. What? He said Diddy parties made a name for themselves at Howard University. But they he's they wasn't you so far. It wasn't those type of Diddy parties, yo. Like I've been hearing stories about. Well, they be, they be like, you know, those 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 ne um, what do you call it? Industry parties is what they call it. Like sometimes mm -hmm. it's just really like they chilling. You know what I mean? Nah, having man. food, drinking. Some people probably smoking and stuff. Like it ain't always like this wow crazy like you know sure, what I mean? but we talking about diddy and snoop you know what i'm saying <laughs> like that's different you're right i agree with you 100 percent. but we talking about two specific people right and who have a reputation for having certain kinds of party with cer certain kinds of parties with certain kinds of activities i, I think that's a big difference right there because mm -hmm. yeah. I, I i remember i remember my boy he used to take me to these industry parties and they were like, they were like, they were like regular, like a regular party where they had cocktails and the mm -hmm. door, uh, what do you call that? Uh, appetizers Adorbs. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And like everybody was chilling. Like nobody was, you know, I mean, obviously people were dancing and drinking. Some people got mm -hmm. drunk, you know, people smoked and stuff like that. But it was like a networking event, like people taking pictures and just chilling, hanging out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Not saying that that's. All good either or, or you know what i mean the best way to go about it but not all industry parties are like this yeah like which sure. i think howard university or like what's the other one the other ratchet one that <laughs> freak nick freak nick kind of parties you know what i mean but you can't ex i guess you can't expect that that comes along with i you. definitely I, expect freak nick at a diddy party for sure <laughs> all right so, I, so I, I again i expect that if 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 somebody from diddy's team reaches out to us <laughs> And hey, says, they, hey, yo, yo, yo did he want to take a shopping? No, no, nah, 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 I'm trying to stay to far you. away from Come network we got going on. Bro. Come network with us. We, we you know, we, we, we try to put you on revolt, revolt. like a revolt. Yeah, revolt. Yeah. Yeah. I might go. You know, revolt. hey, we there you go, go. go. Listen, did he go, go. have a party at his house in Miami? Switch already said, yeah, in the planes. Let's go. Switch got the team coming through. You already I, think, I think now with the whole situation, I wouldn't. But let's say it was before before we found out about the whole he would have went Casey thing, and then it was like, oh, Revolt wants like Revolt likes your podcast and they're interested and they might want to, yeah, you know, and they're like, yo, come out to this event, or whatever. It's networking event, right? That's what they call it, like networking event. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. But then <laughs> I end up there, and then uh, they're like, yo, make sure you leave at two a.m. You heard? Because so it's about to get lit. Free I might be like, yeah, no, no, nah, nah, I'm leaving at two. I'm leaving before then. But the question is, are you still gonna go? No, like now I wouldn't go because oh, uh, all the stuff okay. that we know about Diddy's parties now. You know what I mean? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, all right. <laughs> would y'all go? Well, Jay ain't going nowhere. J I mean, no, Jimmy I would. Jay would have went. Jay would have went. Jimmy's not going. Yo, J Jay nah, is Jimmy's gonna be Lecrae's plus one. Yeah, Jay would have went if, if it would have like if this uh, how you describe this switch and then they would have said revolt wanted to come. Jay would have went. He would be like, "Yo, send the Jay." You ain't going there. So or if it was like an there. Elon Musk party. No, he's definitely Tesla. going. Sign me up. That's not on autopilot. Why would you even ask that, yo? NDA. Going. Where do I sign? NDA. <laughs> Free neural leaks for right. everybody. <laughs> Jay's like, where's the couch? Hey, yo. Hey, give me back on screen. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We appreciate you. Make sure you subscribe. 
this episode is now over. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Oh, we, we got a word of the day? No. <laughs> but, yo, couch. if somebody told me, yo, you got to leave at one, I've been like, yo, bro, what does that mean, bro? <laughs> like, what do you, like, what? What do you mean I gotta leave at one? Like, what's going what on? What you mean? I used to the hey, yo, yo, that's <laughs> like yo, like like you like you a kid, like yo, yeah, but you gotta leave at one, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna be right. like, yo, what's what's that about? I'm grown. Right. Right. You know what I mean? When I'm gonna leave. Nah, I'm you gonna stay what? here at 1 30, bro. What's going on? You know what I mean? Hey, that's probably what I, I, yeah, that's probably what happened with Lecrae. He was probably yeah. like, "Yo, these dudes yeah, think I'm like a grown I'm, man." Yo. Yeah, I'm grown. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell that's me probably. to leave. They gave, him the warning. they gave him the warning. But I don't think yeah. he. I don't, maybe he just didn't know. But like, wow. if you if you if you, if you go to if you go, all right, cool. Yo, we let you slide. Pause on on the first Diddy party, but second and third. Nah, bro. You already you bro, already you don't know. Game, you don't man. know what when that happened. Like we don't know what's the timeline. Yeah. Like it couldn't. But he oh, said it was other celebrities, so he knew like some dude. Oh man, that's crazy. I, I feel bad for Lecrae. Like he, he must be traumatized. Like he gotta be traumatized. Like yo, what the heck did I? Just yo, he had, through? yo, he had to go to Snoop party after that for contact <laughs> just to get it off his mind. <laughs> like bro, and then and then um, like who knows what celebrity it was, right? Like he's probably always going to think like, yo, this dude. Dwight Howard. Wow. Oh, <laughs> like Dwight Howard. Nah. Oh man. But yeah. I, I did see uh I did see like a reaction, a couple of reaction videos, and people were like to what Allen, bro. Like, yo, look crazy compromise. Oh, okay. Look crazy. Yeah. Or somebody said, Oh, they just saying this because look crazy. It's, it, it, Lecrae's next. They're gonna expose him next. <laughs> like, nah, <laughs> that's what people were trying to like say about him. But I don't, I don't think it was. I think he was just being like honest in that moment and being like, "Yo, like I've been parties and this, yeah, you know, some be chill and sometimes they be awesome. They be wilding out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow! Don't go to a Diddy party, yo. I don't think Diddy's gonna have any more parties. Actually, to be honest, <laughs> yo, I think his parties. Right now. I think his parties are over right now. Your man look rough right now. Yeah, he said he look like Danny Glover. He do. Yeah, it's bad. He, yo, he, he no more parties for that dude. It's it's bad. I seen I seen his IG like he got all his comments off right. Oh, like, did he? Yeah, when he when like he he'll post something like happy birthday such and such and then no comments off. I do look stressed, B. Yeah. Um, but what's he stressed about? He's he's like it's done already. Like not because a lot of companies are cutting them off too now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and then he he don't have the the liquor brands no more too because he's trying to sue them. But it is looking bad. So I think the De Leon and the Ciroc. The brand that actually like made him put him in the billionaire status, he's suing him, so he don't have that no more. So, mm. like all his businesses are looking bad. Revolt is under like the the the, the ratings is bad. Mm. So, yeah, Kyle, bad. Kyle has a, a interesting comment. He says, "I feel like if they invite me to their parties, they don't respect my walk as a Christian." Mm. Mm. Wow. That's um okay. Y'all feel that way? Would y'all feel that way? Nah, but I I, I kind of see what he's saying though. Yeah, like, I see what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess, yeah, that's what. And I guess it kind of touched on the point. Like, I guess they felt comfortable but, enough to invite him. You see, for me, it's like I right, well, that's how I feel like the opposite because I feel like they gave him the heads up, like, yo, bro. But that's one person. That's not the person that invited him though. That's somebody right. who came, who was right. courteous enough. But to he's come. saying that the party was chill until all of that started happening. Like it was, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because like, if we in a let's say we we were popular in the podcast world, and they'd be like, "Yo, we are gonna throw a party." Like I understand, I kind of understand it because like you're in you're in the music industry, so but, they might invite you to an event, or they might invite you here and there, or whatever. But everybody might know what that how them parties really get down, though. You know what I'm saying? So. Everybody yeah. was probably there waiting for one o'clock. You know, yeah. but, but Lecrae didn't know. Like he was like, "Yo, I'm partying," 
And then, you know, the one dude had the sense enough to be like, yo, I don't know if this is your type of party, bro. And, you know, and then from there. But whoever invited him, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they were trying to turn him out, you know? And, and I mean, how much of a witness are we being, like, you know what I'm saying? Talk events? about that. Like, are, are we really? Because really? I feel like that's always something that we we kind of use. You like, that's a cop yeah. out. That's I'm a cop not out. Say a cop out, but like, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm here to be a light to the like. I mean, you can do that it. anywhere, right? Like technically, right? Like, yeah. If you got the conversations and the, you know what I mean? Like, like I just feel like he made it seem like, yeah, we going in there. He about to go in there preaching. Pre, you know what I mean? We going mm. in there witnessing, praying for people, kind of stuff. And it was, it was more like that's. It, it didn't seem that way from what yeah. I heard, right? It didn't yeah, seem yeah, like, nah. yo, nah, we nah. in there, we was praying over dudes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Telling them about Jesus, and and maybe it could have happened, right? Because he maybe he's just not that dude to tell everything that's going on. You know what I mean? But I just feel like sometimes we just say that just to be like. We just trying to be a light, and this is like, nah, bro, you, cause, cause you saying, cause you saying one minute like, I'm trying to, I was trying to be down with the celebs, and then the next yeah. minute you like, I'm trying to be a light. So which one is it? Like, are you trying to, like, I get if you being vulnerable, like, yo, I was at this point in my life, and I feel like, I, I was more, you know, just trying to be cool, and I, I, you know, I was around the celebs and I felt, you know, I get it. Like, you know what I mean? You're being vulnerable and you're being transparent. That's cool. But yeah, don't be trying to bring like the ministry aspect of it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, we right. was ready to baptize dudes right on the couch. The, the Jamie you know Foxx pool. <laughs> right at Diddy's pool. We was ready to, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Yeah. That's a good point, yo. I, I, I feel like that's, that's like the default the default comment right there right like yeah i was there to be that light so i don't yeah i ain't buying that either yo. yeah i mean i i understand that to a degree because i i like you know i did underground events and stuff and to me personally like yeah you you do like meet people and stuff right but i think it's not like this crazy like yo you're, you're doing ministry like you're preaching and yeah, praying like, and I, giving out Bibles and you know what I mean, like <laughs> evangelizing type stuff. Like I don't think you, I don't think you could go into a Diddy party thinking you' about to save mad people, yo. Yeah, like, like I just, I don't know, like if you, but bro, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you could do that. You be like, yo, you really in your mind be like, I'm about to go to this party. And I'm about to start preaching to everybody. Bro, you're getting kicked out of that joint, yo. <laughs> you're getting kicked out so quick, bro. You messing that they, they you messing that vibe up, yo. They partying, they at the pool, they music bumping, weed blowing. And, and, and you preaching to them? Man. So, and that's the thing, like so if you say you did do that, right? Say you went in and that was what you was doing. You went in there because you wanted to go. You know, you saw a couple of people by the pool. You wanted to go chat it up with them and start giving them the gospel. Then you went to another area. You went by the bar and you started doing that. You know what I'm saying? And then you started you working your way around the room. You wasn't like OD with it, but you was like approaching different people, right? Yeah. You didn't get invited to the second party? <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Facts. Yep. Facts. Yep. So, You're killjoy. Yeah. You're so buzzkill. Your bus you know kill. So at that point, you've been, you know what I'm saying? So I don't even know if you went and did that, that you even make it to multiple parties. So I don't know, man. Yeah. Man, I always like Lecrae, man. I always think that, you know, he, I think Lecrae got a, really does have good intentions, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, he does. Yeah. He, and yeah. he seems like a pure dude. Like, I don't I don't ever expect, like, yo, Lecrae, they're going to come out with some crazy wildness with Lecrae, you know what I mean? And I always feel like he's a target as well in the CHH kind of thing, but, you know. I think he make himself a target. I think he just be shooting himself in the foot. <laughs> That's, That's true. Too. That's true, too. He just be, it like, like you said, like you pointed out, like, like yo, you, you was a light or you was 
fanning out. You know what I'm saying? Like, which one is it? You know, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, so, so you, you peep that and then other people peep that, right? But everybody is not so gracious. So like, he'd be shooting himself in the foot every time. It's just like, yo, let's bring commissioner YP in those events. You know what I mean? <laughs> they bring Will Cater right. in them events. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> they not making a right. second party, yo. Let's bring Dayton. Nah. Like, let's bring them cats in these events. Let's see what happens, man. Nah, they in my party. Day in my fight. They in my fight. Somebody. <laughs> that dude. That dude. That dude. Yo, that dude you spilled your you spilled angry. your drink on my on my sneakers, son. Hey, dude uh, is mad angry. Yeah, he probably get angry. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I don't know, man. All right, that's good stuff, fellas. Um, we got the word of the day. It is Deuteronomy thirty-one, chapter thirty-one, verse six. Be strong and courageous. Do not.